Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here again in the Cursed Estate. In the previous previous episode, we had some turmoil, some sad times. We went out into the farmstead on an endless mission. We went out with some unnamed um, mercenaries, but unfortunately, one of them did fall, taking our beloved focus ring with him. It was very sad, very unfortunate, but now we are heading out into the wield on a long expedition for this wounding helmet for the bounty hunter. We are taking Venus and Mars as brother and sister of sorts. They're not really brother and sister, they're two halves of some sort of soul. Uh, Venus here is going to be heavy crit. Uh, we're going with the twilight thing here for the extra move chance and crit chance, along with the sun, which is going to increase her speed. It's going to increase uh, a nice amount of crit. Um, minus 10 party surprise chance and a little bit extra damage received. That shouldn't be too bad though. And then we've got her soothing slash. We've got this as well with the knockback and that bonus move chance. Um, we've got her repost and we've also got her um, de-stressing skill if you would like to use that. Then Mars here has the um, pauldrons of intent with the 20 prot, 5 crit, 2 speed, a little bit less dodge and some death blow resist. Along with the keepsake uh, with the extra Extra prop to 30 prop, very, very nice. Uh, along with minus 20 stress and on kill de stressing, that should help out a bunch. Um, I haven't checked over what people's um, things are actually, I should really check that. Uh, she gets. She gets some interesting stuff. So if she's in position two, she gets 10% damage and accuracy. So we should actually um, switch these two around wherever he just went. Where'd you go? Mars. Yeah, let's swap these two around just so she gets that uh, damage and uh, extra accuracy. She doesn't have anything that moves her forward, so that should work out quite nicely. Then we're also bringing Aruki. Um, I think Aruki's going to be a good one to bring here. Uh, she's going with full-on scouting chance. We're getting tons of scouting chance with her. Uh, and she's got this extra speed and crit if in position three, which is really nice. Um... And then she also is she's mainly going to be using flame gout um, along with lacerate, but we've also got sweeping kick and grappling claw in there as backups. But mainly she's going to be using these two skills here, I presume. And then, of course, we got Zai. Uh, I know we took out Zai recently, but currently Zai is our new best healer by a long shot she is super super up for the challenge she's willing to get out there and she's basically going to be carrying people up the ranks and especially on long mission she's going to be even better so before we head out we're just going to sort by level go up to the top here and make sure that uh, everyone is fully ranked up in their skills so venus definitely needs some ranking up here actually she needs quite a lot We'll do everything on Venus. She's missing out on quite a lot on her skills there. So we'll get everything going there. And then I think everyone else is pretty good in terms of rankings and everything. I think it was just Venus that needed a little bit of topping up. But there you go. That was quite a lot of money to spend. But I think it's going to be worthwhile. Venus is a very strong class. And that will lead to some very interesting and fun um, battles, I think. So let's go over to this one here. Again, Log Adventure, level 3. Everyone here is level 3 apart from Mars. He's a little higher up. But honestly, that shouldn't matter all too much. Um... And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna test this out. The only thing I will say that is annoying is the light sensitive here. We're gonna get a little bit less damage on him. But honestly, uh, Mars isn't our main damage dealer. I think uh, Venus is probably gonna be our bigger damage dealer with that higher crit and damage. Gonna be very, very nice. Uh, so let's go and jump on in. Grab our provisions. Uh, we already start with a lot of food. We'll probably just take all the food. I don't want to take any risks with food. We'll take six shovels this is a long adventure so i'm gonna take six of everything it's quite a lot of money to spend i realize but i'd, I'd rather spend the extra money i'm even gonna take some of the loudenum um and we can take 34 of them yeah like i said it's quite a lot of money to spend but we should hopefully get some of that back i'll sell a little bit of food you know go down to 40 it's only a tiny bit but whatever uh, and we will embark on this quest and of course we do have some diary entries to go through starting off we have one that i wrote for red our harlot many moons have passed since my blades last saw action but i've made a killing in town and tending to the needs of those who have seen more horrors than i i suppose with this money i could just get up and leave this wretched place but i don't know Something's keeping me here. So last week, I finally made my way out again with a few of the other less experienced fellas. We came across this grave, and I thought to myself, it's the same shit as always, and I reached for the loot, but upon touching the headstone, a spirit awoke. 
One by one, the fungi infected corpses of this buried family rose from the dead, and with each one cut down, the spirit seemed to calm. Until eventually, we slew every last one of them, and the spirit thanked us, handed us a small but powerful memento, and faded into nothingness. Now, emotions are not something I've felt in a long time, but this really hit me where it hurt. Made me think back to times when I felt the same way that spirit did. But that's all behind me now. I must be strong. So that's more onto that backstory of the, uh, of the Banshee that we fought. I wanted to write something to, I wanted to write something to reflect what the people went through with the Banshee. Okay, I'm, I'm immediately noticing something here. Um, Zai is a really good trap disarmer. Um, yeah, okay, something I've immediately noticed here, and I'm very confused as to what's going on. We don't have faster dungeons on. Like, everyone's moving really slowly. I mean, I guess we'll play it and just see how this goes, but this feels very strange. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's caused that. I don't think I disabled the mod, so there must be some possible interaction that's uh, that's not working for us. Um, we'll go with the discipline. But yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be kind of odd for us, I think. It's gonna be kind of odd. Nice crit. We're going to see some stuff that we haven't seen in a little while here. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of de-stressing with Zai here. Mainly going to be healing with her, but the de-stressing will be nice as well. Unfortunate dodge there. Rookie didn't quite get that. Rabid rush going in for the hit. Hopefully we don't get any rabies coming in on us here. But yeah, this is this is very strange for me. Uh, playing with uh, this speed is going to be very different, and it's probably going to, going to mean this will be the only dungeon this episode. Uh, but that's not a terrible thing, and I'll look into it after this episode. Of course, I haven't played since the last one, so I'm not exactly sure what's happened with that. We'll go for the stun here. We stunned both of them. Great. That's going to kind of be the 1-2 the with Mars here. Um, and... He doesn't have any debuffs. Um, he does have some blight on him. I think I'm better off going for the party heal. Just getting everyone topped up, back up to full HP. It's going to serve us a little better. Nice, get that flame on there. Get that buff going. Mix these two around. Of course, Mars and Venus are going to play very well together. Being, being sort of spiritual brothers and sisters, I think these two are going to going to mix together very well. Their play style is going to complement each other nicely. Um, and we're going to see some, some really cool combat interactions here. Okay, Rabid Rush coming in again. God, it's, it's crazy how slow this feels. Uh, so we will cure that off him now, because why not? Very nice to cure that. Um, Poise Cleave again, we'll go for that. Mixing enemies around, moving them and stunning them is, is really, really nice for us. So I, I want to be doing that as much as possible. Did take on a little bit extra stress here, so we'll go with the Soothing Slice. Lowers our stress quite nicely. And there you go. Mars, you can open this up for us, can't you? Fortunately, there was nothing of value inside that. But yeah, I immediately noticed upon moving that we were slower. I I really can attest as to why that's going on, but at the same time, I don't want to quit out of a mission we've already started to figure it out. I'm guessing the mod just updated and it's broken somehow. Uh, also, I was told recently that these are not worth using your bandages on. Bandages are actually more valuable as bleed clears normally the loot that you get from those is very minuscule you don't tend to get very good stuff oh and we've got some some lovely people from the uh the horrible place that are probably gonna give us some diseases let's let's hope not let's hope not uh right so we probably want to just be killing as quick as possible here so that's a big crit to kill one of them just getting kills as, e as easily and as fast as we can is going to be really really important for us here so we'll go with this we can't get a kill here in the slightest so let's just go for a stab on you uh, move you to the back and what's your stress like you got six stress i'd rather go for a party heal and hope for a crit for a little bit more stress relief on everyone, but I don't know, we don't, we don't need stress relief on anyone really, do we, so... Not really much point. We could get a kill here, there's a chance. Unfortunately, we didn't. I think I think we had to go for that, really. A uh, little bit of blight coming in here. Nice resist. And... Ooh, did take a little bit of damage there. And that debuff... The stun there is very unfortunate, because it means we can't remove debuffs, and the first here is probably the worst thing for us, because that's where we're going to be getting the disease. Well, luckily, we did resist it that time. Uh, I'm going to do this because this is going to kill and move you. 
Um, and then we can do this for double crits. Uh, double crits, sorry, double stuns. And we did indeed get the double stun, which is going to mean Zai can get her extra turn out, which is great. Um, you can die. Oh, unfortunate. We got a miss there. Jerry couldn't really do it. Couldn't really bring it forward. That's okay. We're going to go Poise Cleave again. I know the stun's probably not going to come off here, but we might as well try it. And it does hit both of our targets, which is pretty important. Um, I think we go with the Soothing Slice here and hope for a crit. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. That's not too big of a problem, though. Venus is doing well. Um, I was going to clear debuff, but I think it's better to go for the party heal. And there's that sort of crit that we're looking for. Okay, we're going to take quite a bit of damage here, most likely. Actually, six isn't too bad, but we are going to take a pretty hefty debuff. Um, and we'll probably want to be getting rid of that with, um, with our lovely lady. Just get rid of the body. This guy's probably going to get an extra turn in here, which isn't great. But luckily, he didn't take one of the turns where he can actually give us a disease, which is nice. Um, I'm just going to do this. I, I really want to spend an extra turn with Zai um, curing this bleed off you. I suppose now it's your turn. We might as well just do this. I was going to wait, but why? We might as well clear that off you now. Did get some extra blood out of that as well? I'm very happy to have some more blood. Hey, lots of extra cure, uh, trinkets and things. Okay, these ones I definitely want to go for. This will give us extra food, I think. Yeah, there you go. We do have a fight coming up here. We got a little bit of damage coming on these guys. Another set of them. The Bloodsuckers are insanely common. Like, I don't, I, I don't really get why. Like, they sh I, I, I kind of like the, the idea of the fact that they, like, infect the rest of the area and you can find them anywhere. But they're so common. They're like, sometimes they're genuinely more common than the enemies you're supposed to come across. Nice kill, kill there. Like, the, the, the wheeled enemies, we're not actually seeing many of those at the minute. We definitely need Zai to get a big heal coming in here. Um, I'm just going to finish you off. Ups our uh, stun for next time as well. It's not a great stun chance, but it's enough. Yeah, that party heal's nice. Five for everyone. It's, it's not the best, but it's pretty good. Gather blood here. This could hurt. Indeed it did, but it didn't hurt enough to be too bad. Okay. Nice. You go down. Oh my god. Every time we've used that attack so far, it's been a crit. I've been loving that. Wow. You burn off your face. Gather the blood. Luckily, Mars is taking the brunt of these attacks pretty well. Zai can hopefully get an extra heal in here. Indeed, she can. Nice one, Zai. And that pretty much tops everyone up. We could maybe stall this another turn, but I'd, I'd rather not risk the chance. Uh, we even got another Baron invitation. I don't know if we need those anymore. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I'll, I'll take it nonetheless, just in case we do. Right. Let's keep going. Keep moving forward. I was just about to say I'm surprised we didn't have many scouting chances yet, but we just got one there. Uh, this is, of course, a long mission, so we do have quite a ways to go. Haven't really decided exactly how we're going to go ahead with... Um, nice. Exactly how we're going to go ahead with uh, camping, but we'll sort of get to that as we come to it and see what happens. It's so strange having to play this slow. It's not a bad thing. I, d I do like the default speed of the game. I don't think it's bad. I just thought for the video's sake, I'd speed it up so we could get more progression per per video. Um, I thought that would be the best way of doing it. And so far, it's been pretty good. Um, but it is very weird to come back to this, this rate of gameplay. Of course, we get the Collector. Now, it's unlikely we can get a stun on him on the first round. Um, Repost is probably a good idea to set that up early. This is probably going to be pretty tough. I would I would reckon this is going to be pretty tough. We're not going to be able to get a stun on him on the first round, I don't think. Um, that's a very, very nice hit there. Nice crit. Yeah, I didn't think we were going to get one on him. And unfortunately, we don't have too many attacks that reach the back line, so we're going to have to mostly push through the front, uh, which is the biggest reason why I thought this was going to suck. Because we are going to have to mostly push through the front. Um... We could pull him, but then that leaves that leaves uh, Venus in a position where she can't do anything. And I, I don't think that's a good idea. 
I think that would leave Venus in way too tough of a position. So I think we just go for the kill, and we even got one. Very nice. Um, and just try... Try our hardest. Have we already done this? We have. Um, I'm going to do this. Even though it's not hitting the collector, it's going to move him. Put him forward within range. Lifesteal. I was going to say it shouldn't matter unless it crits. And then what did it do? Of course it crit. Uh, we'll go with that. We don't really want to move you, so... Oh, that lifesteal healed him up a hell of a lot there. 10 healing. Hasn't quite fully healed back from that, but it did good enough. Hopefully with these guys behind, they should mean that he doesn't spawn anymore and he stays near the front for a relatively long time. Um... Debuff target with debuff prop. We still haven't changed mode yet. Like, we're still staying pretty pretty high HP. I'm, I'm actually going to go for the buff on our uh, stun chance. That did unfortunately move him back, but don't worry. We can continue to move him around as we go here. He shouldn't stay there for too long. And as long as he's in position two, we can hit him with everyone. That is the third crit in a row, Araki. You're doing insanely good, considering you're not the one with the crit chance. This is going very well for you. So headstrong's probably gonna mean a bit of yeah, bit of healing there. Luckily, that was less than we just hit him for. Headbutt here is gonna hurt. Uh, they're of course gonna target the singular one. Collector's call. This is where things get a little more difficult when he collector's calls. It's not gonna drag him directly to the back, but it is gonna help out. Um, I'm gonna do this and just go for the stun and shuffle. Of course, that didn't work. I mean, it stunned them, which is great, but it didn't do what I wanted it to. Uh, so we're just going to take out, we're likely to kill, I don't know, we're, we're more likely to kill you, let's go for you. Even with a crit, there was a chance, actually no, we would have killed this guy with a crit, either way. I think that works out fine. A rookie's getting life seal again, okay, that was great, that was great. I was going to say, as long as it doesn't crit, we'll be okay, and it luckily missed, so. In a decent spot, in a decent spot. I am going to clear off that bleed. I'm going to do that again. Only 10 this time. No crit, but that's still very good for us. Uh, we'll go for a flat heal. Nine's pretty good. Nice one, Zay. Um, the stuns here are coming in clutch. Go for another soothing slice. Huge hit. No crit on him, unfortunately. Uh, I think Mars can can hopefully finish this off for us. Um, he, of course, get bled as well. We're going to go with... Hmm... So this would do 5 to 5. This is 8 to 9. We can indeed enter Chaos Mode. Let's go to Chaos Mode. Let's try that out. We, do, we very rarely enter Chaos Mode with this guy. Uh, so we've got this here. Um, so. Debuff Stealth. That's kind of crazy. But. It's going to do good damage. We can go with that one. I want to go with whatever's the highest damage here. There's a lot of moves to think about here. Let's just go with this. The double strike. He's going to lose us some HP. Hopefully it doesn't put him in too tough a position, but he does get another move here. I'm going to switch back. I wanted that initial damage, but I don't want to... I don't want to risk his life in any way. Nice crit crit on Mars there is, is very precious for us. Lifesteal here is going to be annoying, but oh, he missed. That's so lucky for us, and this should finish it. Awesome. That worked really, really well. Well done, guys. I told you, the team of... Um, I'm going to get rid of the blood. I don't need it. Uh, the team of Mars, Venus and Mars is, is unprecedented. Something you didn't see coming, and it's 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 very, very good. I'm surprised we haven't found a secret room yet. Uh, we probably want to think about camping pretty soon as well. Nice bit of loot. Uh, got another battle coming in here. Okay, we've got a few guys here. Luckily, we got the surprise. Let's go for some big hits here. Um, I'm just going to go for the Soothing Slice and try and take this guy out as quickly as possible. And then we'll go for the Discipline on that guy. And there's that stress heal coming in as well. Um, again, let's just go for party heals, get everyone up to the top. And there you go, Mars getting that crit heal once more. And we'll burn you up. Ben not doing too much damage here. Point blank shot's going to hurt a little, but it shouldn't help. shouldn't do too much to us. It didn't move us at all. A nice, a nice dodge as well from a rookie. I think a rookie's been, like, insanely powerful these past few 
turns. We'll go for the stun here. His stun resist is okay enough, yeah. I thought he might resist that, but that's okay. We'll go for a soothing slice once more. And... Stress is at 16. We'll take care of some of that stress. Half it. Got the shank there, probably with a bit of bleed. No, nice resist. Good, good. We'll keep burning up this big guy. Rain of Whip shouldn't do too much to us. In fact, it'll do nothing because we all dodged. Beautiful. And I think one more hit on this guy and he's done for. So we'll just finish it off with a bit more stun chance building. 195. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Cure that a little more. Your stress is down to zero. Okay, this guy is going down. Even if not, he's getting stunned. Nice, a dodge. A oh, rookie's a beast. There you go. You're stunned. And you are taken care of, my sir. Cut you down. Okay, lots of stuff here I want. Um, I, I, I don't know what to get rid of. I kind of want to keep everything that I've got, but at the same time, I do want money. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that for that. And them for that. Little risky. Little risky, I know, but... I'll go for it. This is worth it. Or at least should be. Another vial. We don't really need those right now. We don't have enough people that have the curse to have to take every single one we come across. But yeah, you guys will have to know, have to let me know how you feel about this slower combat. If, it, if you prefer it, let me know and I can just leave the mod off. If not, I, 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 I do enjoy playing with a faster pace. I think it makes the game a little... A little more tolerable when uh, when the game slows down a bit in certain areas, uh, but at the same time, I'm I am thoroughly enjoying it like this as well. Like, it's not any less enjoyable, really. I don't think we have anyone here that can bypass stealth. Uh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem, though. She's going to get a few stress kicks out of us, but you've got to remember that Zai is an incredibly strong stress healer, so it shouldn't matter all that much. We'll take you out first. Get rid of that blight, I think. Embrace the dark. There's that stress coming in. Quite a lot of stress, actually. Uh, but it shouldn't matter all that much. Dog, you can go down. Move you back a little bit. Lower that damage. And we'll whirlwind strike these two. Unfortunately, a miss there. Uh, Venus hasn't been missing all too much, but... There's a first time for everything. Unfortunately, it was a time where it would have actually probably gotten us a kill. Some claws coming in. Zai is going to come in here. Clutch. Another embrace the darkness here. The stress is it's important to remove it, but it's not it's not super super important. Double stun there gives us a lot more time. A lot more time. We'll go for lacerate here. Right. Get that going on. Okay, there you go. The crone is out now. Um 13, 10, 19. We'll definitely de-stress ourselves a little bit here. Don't want anyone's getting above 20, really. Want to keep it as low as we can. Escape Cloud, nice. Neither of you got blighted. The stun there is going to do a lot of work for us. Crones piling on the stress. Another 10. There you go, 23. We definitely want to get rid of that. And double crit. Executed. Double crit. The crone is one hit away. One hit away. Or at least I hope. Of course she dodges. This guy got stunned though, so that's... Fine, but she is going to get an extra turn now, most likely. Or, a rookie can come in and burn her to a crisp. Incinerate her corpse. Thank you. Uh, let's go with a party heal here. Get everyone topped up a little bit. And the soothing slice. Lower any stress that's on us. Very nice. Oh, we got another one of these. I'm very tempted to take that. We do already have one, though, so it's not super necessary. I realize it's worth money, and I probably should take it anyways, but I don't know. Okay, we've got another crone in the back there. Like I said, no way to de-stealth her, but we did get a dodge there, so that's nice. Oh, we do have a de-stealth. Um, how does this work? So... It says de-stealth, but it doesn't target an enemy. Does it de-stealth all enemies or does it de-stealth us? I'm going to say that it probably de-stealths us for some reason. And I'm just going to set up our repurse. We haven't really been using that all too much, so I'm going to set that up now. The targeting there on a rookie. She's been dodging like an absolute mad lad, so I'm kind of fine with that. Doggy, you're going to take a big hit. 
and get moved to the back as well. And then you're going to lower your stress down to one. Rabid Rush is get targeted a lot. Hopefully, no disease, but we're going to get a lot of targeting coming our way. That's fine by me. Another Embrace the Dark coming in with a bit more stress. Stress on Venus essentially doesn't matter at all. So when I see that happen, I'm really not that bothered because she can just remove it by hitting things. Nice crit heal there. That was the best person to get the crit on. Um, Zai's been doing really, really well at, rem at getting those crit heals on the people that need it. Huge. Absolutely huge there. Definitely want a full Zai heal here. Another great crit. A rookie is amazing. Amazing. Another crit. Ex going exceedingly well. Um, I'm actually going to set up repose here. Simply because I want an extra turn. There you go. To heal up a rookie. I don't want to go into a next combat that low on HP. And of course you go for the one person that's going to instantly kill you. Why would you do that? Nothing of value. Just some crispy old bones. Um, room battle. So we need to go to this one here. Yet more of that. We've done like this whole thing without camping so far. We probably want to look into doing some camping in a moment. Let's get through after this battle and do some camping, shall we? Probably worthwhile. Just some birds. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. These guys usually go down relatively quick. And we got the surprise on them as well, which makes it even easier. And we can relatively easily stun them. I definitely want a party heal here. Again, with the clutch healing crits. Nice, you're dead. One above its maximum HP. The Decay is probably going to spawn it. Yep, a parasite. But luckily no one's got dead meat on them so far. So that's not too problematic. We can just try and take it out as quick as we can. As soon as it hits us, it's going to hurt. And there's the dead meat. I kind of I kind of saw it coming. And who else but a rookie? Why would, it, why would you go for anyone else? Okay, that is a little broken. There's some strange things going on with a few of the mods that I have on. I I must have downloaded a mod that's, that's interacting poorly with a few mods. If anyone knows what that could be, it'd be a great help if you could let me know. Um, yeah, because currently I'm, I'm seeing, obviously, the issue with uh, the speed mod not working. But also another mod that's not working correctly. It's, it's just, it's strange. Of course you dodged it, you stupid parasite. Why wouldn't you? She's got a lot of stress on her now. Don't worry about it. We're going to clear some of that off. But she got a buff to stress healing or something. I need to check on that. Um, eh, not by the look of it. Nice stab. Nice hit. I was hoping for a crit there. That's why I didn't go for the back guy, but... Should have thought better than that. Okay, she's moved to the back. That's fine. You're dead. No parasite, please. Okay, good. Just just some some meat. Nice dodge. Um debuff on you. Can this clear this debuff? By the way, she has been she has been changed. Uh, if you didn't realise, Zai has been slightly nerfed. Uh, I think her party heal got nerfed. Her stun and her stun blight and mark all got nerfed, and her um, her medical blend and incuring tincture also got nerfed. The incuring tincture now doesn't uh, it doesn't give you a stress debuff uh, like a stress healing. One, like, before it gave minus 20 stress every time you used it. Also, this used to be 100% clear debuff. Now it's 65%. So that's made her a lot more balanced. Okay, you're gone. And you just left a corpse as well. Very good. Back to default party order. Stress heal. I mean, I might as well go for it on you. Not that we need it, but we'll take it. Uh, right, camping wise, what do we what do we got here? Prevents nighttime ambush. Party remove disease. Wow.
Okay, let's camp once. Gathered close in ten we have 54 fire. food left, wow. Um, so yeah, prevent nighttime ambush. Crit speed, we'll go with that. Um, self only, maximum HP chance. I guess we'll go with that. Of course, we just got two negatives and that's it. Um, we'll go with that. Nice. Wait, was it 33% chance and I got all of them? Holy hell. Nice. That was very, very good. The light. The promise of safety. So we can just um, try and use medical herbs to get rid of that, or we can just do it in the next battle. Right, Zai, you can take care of this. Or you can miss entirely. We have the gravestones there. We will not be going for that. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. We will not be going for that. We have already taken care of that, and it was difficult. And that was at a much lower level, so... The crone here. Some more bears to deal with. Not sure what that hex does. Oh, it just marks us. Okay. That's cool. I can deal with that. Nice crit straight off the bat there. Lovely. Okay. Zai, you're gonna be you're gonna be clearing that debuff. You're gonna have to. We don't have any medical herbs. Uh, by the way, I do realize that a rookie, I should be using her um, Salamander's Breath, but it just, it doesn't work for the composition we've got going on here, so I'm not going to try and force it. She's doing enough damage as she is right now. Right. Hey, that's what I wanted to see on the first move. We'll remove this stress as well. But yeah, um, Mender is now in a much more balanced position. Ah, oh, unfortunate dodge there. Doesn't happen often with this gal, but when it does, it's a sad sight. And yeah, more horror coming in here. Shouldn't matter all that much, especially considering the uh, stress here we just got. Let's get a stun off here. Nice. And the Krone. We can probably take her down a single hit with Venus. I'm, I'm thinking we can. But what we'll do is, to make it a little easier, we'll soften her up a bit and move her to the back accidentally. No, we can still get her. Killed both of them, both with a crit, Venus and Mars, a match made in heaven. Right, let's crack that open. Don't need any more busts, I'm fine for that, thank you. And we will continue to move on. A few more rooms. I'm really hoping we get a scouting chance here and get ourselves a secret room. I kind of brought the crazy scouting chance here. Uh, specifically for getting secret rooms and getting more trinkets and money. But it looks like that might not happen. Alright, stab you. Flame on as well. And... Uh, yeah, we'll cure that off you. It's a big enough, big enough future heal to be worthwhile. Nice dodge as well. Okay. Nice. Zaya keeps dodging the most crucial dodges. It's great. Okay, left her at 3 HP. It's a little little insulting, but we can finish her off. Again, burn, burn her to a crisp. And you are pretty much dead. You have high prot, so it's going to take a little more time. We might as well just go for a party heal and make sure everyone's healed up. Yet again, getting a crit on the most important person to crit on. But the, the 40 prot that we have on Mars here is, is doing us insanely well. And there's that crit to finish you off. Go a trinket there. We don't need that, though. Right, let's keep going. A dizzying fall. Okay, let's hope we get a scouting chance right here. I'd very much like to see it. Rabid rush. Let's take out the dog first. Oh, nice crit. 
We are getting crits at the most crucial moments here, and I'm absolutely loving it. Finish you off. Yet another crit. Ups your virtue chance as well. That's nice. Okay, you're going for the mark. Shouldn't mean too much for us. That damage received is annoying, but... Hopefully, it shouldn't mean too much for us. Uh, we're actually going to try and clear that right now. Indeed, we did. Lovely. Clearing that means a lot for us. Okay, clear that off. Everyone is very low on stress now. Great. And another dodge. Beautiful. Double stun. This could be beautiful. Ah, the single stun. That's still good enough for me. Nice hit. I didn't realize that I'd only hit you, otherwise I would have used a bigger attack. It's okay, though. We're absolutely melting this deer. And a dodge on escape cloud as well. This has been a very successful mission for everyone. Very successful indeed. You've got four still. I might as well get rid of it. It really should be a reward for coming out with people on, like, such low stress. If they've got, like, below 10 stress, they shouldn't be able to have negative quirks on escaping the dungeon. That'd be so cool. Something like that would be really interesting. I know that the, the, the stress does play a part in that already, but it'd be nice if, like, they literally couldn't get one if they were below 10 stress when they left. They could only get positive ones. Okay, there's a scouting. Come on, come on, come on, secret room. Damn it. Game. Please. Give this to me. I've been waiting so long. I need me. My secret room. Okay, dogs need to go down before we get rabies. Getting the surprise chance here. It's just so nice. Um... I'm going to do this. Oh, really? I was going to say I wanted to weaken them both. Get them ready to be killed by both of these two, but it just didn't work out, did it? Okay, nice. One really good thing about uh, Venus's Wildwind attack, if she manages to kill with Wildwind, uh, it does this very nice thing where it immediately destroys the body because it was moving it. And when things, when enemies are moved through a body it removes the body. So it immediately gets rid of any bodies of things it kills, even if it's not a crit. It's really nice that way. Of, of course, if the move chance is successful, but it almost always is. Okay, nice bit of stun on these two. Didn't hit either stun, surprisingly. Did mix them about a bit, though. We'll do that again. It just, even though mixing the enemies about doesn't always affect their uh, potential to deal damage, one thing that's nice about it is it does just sometimes disrupt their flow of combat. A lot of the time there's, there's a certain flow or certain steps that enemies take in order to do their cer certain moves. Having Mars around just, just helps prevent some of that. And like I said, it doesn't always affect every bit of combat, but Mars, he comes in handy a lot. And we, we saw when he fought the Croc, he did a great job. You're dead. No parasite. Yes. I love zero parasites. You're going down. Very much going down. Has anyone ever used one of those to cure one stress? Ah, no secret room. Saddening. Oh, more bloodsuckers as well. Holy hell. The game's relentless with these motherfuckers. The it's okay, though. We can do a lot against these guys. They're very movable. Even though it doesn't really do anything for us, I'll pop one of those. I really should give her another move so that she can do stuff outside of uh, healing. <clears throat> finish you off. I was hoping finish you off. Unfortunately, your prot saved you there. A little bit of blight coming out, but we got that dodge. And another dodge. Predicted that one. And another dodge. Yes! <laughs> Don't you love to see it? The first and another dodge? Nah, damn it. Don't you dare give Zai the disease. I'll hate you forever if you do. Right, double stun on these guys. 
Sadly, no stun. These guys, one of these at least has very high stun chance. I didn't actually realize that. Nice crit there. We're getting everyone weak, but not killing anything. That's actually a pretty bad way to play this. I should be going for guaranteed kills rather than AoE. Um, so, yeah, do you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a guaranteed kill. These guys aren't quite as problematic, I don't think. Um, go for the party heal again. Not that it matters all too much, but I think it's better than anything otherwise. Bit of blight coming out on us here. This is going to kill both of those guys. Nice one. Um, just cure that blight a few. Get rid of that debuff as well. Nice one. You're still pretty high on HP, but you're now on three, so you're going to die. Nice one. That wasn't too bad at all. Lots of blood there. Do you know what? This late on, I'll take all that blood. I'll take all that blood. And of course, as soon as we get rid of the anti-venom, we find a tree stump. Right, last thing we've got to, to explore. Last battle we've got. It shouldn't be too tough. We've got Parasite, Big Slime Blob. Big Slime Blob's obviously the, the more important thing to take care of. Um, I don't think we can stun it very easily, but I think two of those will do it. We can double that stun chance. So we'll try and do that. Oh my god, six stress. I can't be dealing with six stress. We'll go with that. Not that bleed is too effective against these guys, but we got it. We landed it. Consume. Okay, that's actually fine. Moving you to the back. Devour's gonna hurt. His uh, his attacks tend to peel him for a lot and also deal a lot, so... Kind of problematic. We probably want to try and take care of him, but we, we really have to take care of the big slime first because he's gonna start spawning things. Slime smack shouldn't deal too much damage, but I think it can move. Oh, it's stun. No devouring. God damn it. Devour hurts. That devour hurts. Getting a lot of bleed on this thing, or or not. Definitely some healing coming in here. I'm gonna move these two around. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. There we go. This is good. This is good. That bleed should kill it. We can do a party heal here. That bleed should kill it, so it should be fine here. Very happy about that. Big slime. Taking a bit more damage than I'd like. We'll just top you off the... Finish you off. Pull you forward. And then we go for the double stun here, which should be successful. Indeed it was. This makes this combat, the rest of this combat, very, very easy. It means this guy can't spawn anything. That was my main worry. Him spawning more slimes is problematic for us. Because the fight ends up lasting an insanely long time. We finished that off as well. Nice one, guys. Coming out with zero stress on everyone. That is super good to see. Oh, I just got rid of my keys, you fucking moron. There's a chest still. Okay, I still got contents, but that, we probably could have got a little more from that. Trinkets and baubles. We probably could have got a little more. But there you go, that was a really good mission. I know it was slower than normal. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with our mods here. But that's everyone in this group up to level 4. Very, very nice indeed. And we'll take a little look at what we have available in town. First of all, let's unequip all of our trinkets. But yeah, let's first of all check what's available on the stagecoach. Unfortunately, nothing of interest really. Uh, and then let's check here if we have any good trinkets. Uh, Wraith one's is kind of interesting. Ocean Bomb one's decent. Antiquarian with... That's actually pretty good as well. Uh, Ermine Seeker. Armor piercing for Beastmaster. I'll take that. We could definitely get some use out of that. I think that's all we're going to buy for this one, though. We've got a few diary entries to go through before we end off the episode. I actually got quite a few. Uh, so we'll go through those and then end it off. These are all written by TEA. The first one is for our Antiquarian Octavia. I remember trekking through those woods a long time ago during my arrival here. They were still dying, overtaken by the endless fungus and rot. I expected the whole forest to rot itself away entirely, a problem taking care of itself, but somehow it keeps growing, and the monsters here are becoming stronger 
as he, even as they are overtaken by the fungal growths. There, were, there was a witch in these woods, and I pocketed a few trinkets of her corpse before it melted into the dirt. Additionally, I found a shrine dedicated to an elder god. If its power courses through these woods, it would explain a lot. Next one we have from Isaac, our plague doctor. I am failing at my work. I have run entirely out of corpses to dissect and sample and samples to inspect, and my patients lose themselves to the bloodlust more and more every day. If I cannot w find a way to cure this, the hamlet will surely be overtaken by monsters, not unlike the ones found in that courtyard. We have to make another expedition, and soon. And then last one here from Verona, our snake charmer. I met with Will. He had his hands on a number of trinkets and terms of the occult. He wasn't too eager to share them, but reluctantly I shared with him the fate of my family and what I was trying to achieve, and he let me do some studying alongside him. It is possible to revive the dead and in their original human form, the way I wanted to. The only issue is that it requires to communicate with some alien entity, and an old powerful one. The price of it is severely varying, is, is, of its services are varying greatly. It would be at its mercy. Somehow I would have to convince it to help me and hope it doesn't ask of too much. This is my chance. Oof. I love these stories. They're so good. But that's going to be it for today. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look into what's going on with our, um, with our, uh, mods and see if something's disrupting one or more of our mods and try and fix that for the next episode. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.